everybody. Uh, hey, is it time again? Fun Fact Friday. I've got quite a few for us today, so let's get started. You can find the first one I'm about to tell you in Exodus 15, 21. And it, Miriam is the first woman recorded singing in the Bible. And it says, And Miriam answered them, Sing ye to the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. I thought that one was pretty neat. And let's see the next one. Do you know Bethlehem means house of bread? Now, now we're going to go to Jonah chapter 3 verses 7 through 8. I tried to get in some kind of order here, but I know it's not going to work out like I want it to. Okay, Jonah chapter 3 verse 7 through 8. It says... When the king of Nineveh called the people to repent, even the animals were to fast and be covered in sackcloth. And in Jonah 3, 7 through 8, it says, And he caused it to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, <clears throat> taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily unto God. Yea, let them turn every one of his evil way. Let him turn every one from his evil way and from the violence that is in their land. That was another one that I thought was kind of neat. Let's see. And then we're going to go to Job. And like I said, I know this is going to. There we go. Job. In Job 1.3 is where you can find this. It says, Job at one time had 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 oxen, and 500 female donkeys. And then Job it says, what would we say, chapter 1, verse 3. His substance also was 7,000 sheep three and 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 she-asses, and a very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the East. Now, our next fun fact, you can find in Genesis 5, 3. And it says, Did you know that Adam was 130 years old when Seth was born? And like I said, Genesis 5, chapter 3. Chapter 5, verse 3. And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness, and after his image, and called his name Seth. 130 year old. I thought that was pretty neat. Now, in Deuteronomy 34, 5 through 6, it says, God himself buried Moses and no one knows where. And I'll read it to you. Deuteronomy chapter 34, 5 through 6. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor. But no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. Only God knows why he was buried because God himself buried him. I thought that was another fun fact. And do you know that there is only one time recorded in the Bible where it shows Jesus sleeping? And you can find this in Matthew 8, 23 through 27, Mark 4, 35 through 41, and Luke 8, 22 through 25, which Matthew, Mark, and Luke are all, you know, it's recording the same thing it's just in difference but in Matthew we're gonna go through Matthew and I'll read it from there it says in Matthew 8 23 through 27 and behold there arose a great tempest in the sea insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves but he was asleep and his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Where are ye fearful, ye of little faith? 
Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of this of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? I have always, always loved that chapter and not those verses. It just it's amazing. Even the sea calms down to the Lord's voice. Now oh, let's see. Did you know that Sarah is the only woman mentioned? As laughing in the Bible, you can find that in Genesis 18, 12 through 13. Let's see. And I will go there and read it. Genesis 18, 12 through 13. It says, Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child? Which am old. God gave her one, but she thought it, she didn't take it too seriously. Let's see, I thought this one was neat too. You can find it in First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 8. The Gadites had faces like lions. I'll read it to you. And the Gadites there separated themselves unto David into the hold of to the wild with into the hold to the wilderness men of might and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler whose faces were like the faces of lions and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains i thought that was neat too let's see we got a few more and i believe i've lost my place here okay and here we are did you know that all the books of the New Testament contain the word Amen except for Acts, James, and 3rd John? It does not end with Amen like all the other books and stuff in the Bible. I thought that one was neat too. And then here is another one. In Judges 5.10, it says... Well, in Judges 5.10, did you know that it speaks of people riding on white donkeys? And I will read it to you. It says, Speak ye that ride on white asses, ye that sit in judgment and walk by the way. I thought that one was neat too because it's not something you really hear of. Did you know that Deborah was the only female judge of Israel? And do you know that the name Deborah means a bee, like a honeybee? And our last one for this week, and you can find this in Exodus chapter 19, 12. If a man or even an animal touched God's mountain, Mount Sinai, they were to be stoned or shot with arrows. And I will go there and read that to you. Exodus 19. Chapter 19, verse 12. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourselves, that ye go not up into the mount, or touch the border of it. Whosoever touches the mount shall surely be put to death. There shall not a hand touch it, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through. through. Whether it be beast or man, it shall not live. When the trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mount. I thought that was another neat one. I hope that you all enjoyed the fun facts for this week. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. I will be doing these fun facts every Friday. Um, and I do lesson every Tuesday. So, like I said, if you liked it, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I post a new video. I Love you all. I hope you enjoyed it and I will be back Tuesday. Bye.